New push to protect those who protect all of us. Local firefighters are now among a handful across the country taking extra steps to protect firefighters and paramedics from cancer. Medical reporter Liz Bonus spent the day at Station 109 on West Kemper in Colerain Township to show us just how this new safety effort is making a difference. Hi, Liz. Hey, Rob, the team in Colerain Township taking a proactive approach, they say, after a study still ongoing by the National Institute of Safety and Health, or NIOSH as it's known, found that when fires burn like this one and some of these you see here, it's a health hazard to firefighters in a really big way. We all know the danger is fire destroys a burning building. Now we're learning more about another danger that it also brings to those who put those fires out. So if you look at statistics, um, there's an increased risk of one and a half to sometimes as many as two and a half times that of the normal population as far as different or specific types of cancer. So to try and combat that, Assistant Fire Chief Alan Walls now joining the ranks of just a few in the country to try and double protect his firefighters and paramedics against it. After every fire, we try to wash our gear. For years, firefighters such as Justin Boyce have gone through a decontamination process when they return to the station. Now, rather than waiting, they will first have the chance to do much of that same thing while on scene. You see, as a structure burns, their equipment doesn't just get covered in smoke and potential cancer-causing chemicals, it also heats up. So, as we're inside of our gear working, uh, if you could imagine with a five degree increase in skin temperature, it's about a 400% um, absorption um, or increased ability for absorption. Then. So now decontamination kits will go with them with items like these for immediate use to remove cancer causing agents on scene. So the idea behind this is that no matter how much protective wear you're wearing, maybe on your hands or even on your head, if this is covered in something that would actually absorb into the skin or that you might breathe in that would give you cancer, you are still at risk and that risk needs to be removed as much as possible. You see, now that we know there's a dual danger, not just to us, but also to them, there's a dual responsibility to protect against it. You know, the guys have been here for 20 years. I didn't know this going into it. You know, they, they've already been exposed. We have an opportunity now that we can catch it before we get exposed to it. And yet, even with the risks, when you ask those to protect us, would you rather do anything else? No. How come? It's the best job in the world. Uh, best job in the world, quite a servant. The real danger here is that they have repeated exposure to this smoke and other cancer-causing agents. The cancers for which they appear to be most at risk due to this are brain, digestive tract, and lung cancers, as well as others. The goal with this effort, to lower those odds. And Rob and Cammie, they are tracking some of those numbers. Fascinating, Liz. Thanks mm -hmm. for